God. Yeah, it's like a mouse, okay, I gotta fix net. that. All right, this is the KZ Indoscope. Do a unboxing here. It's everything that comes in it. User manual. Here's the main unit itself. It is even rubberized. We'll take that out. Oh, there's the unit. Okay, so that's a protective rubber outside. So I'll go ahead and put this back on. And then the buttons accordingly. There's the back, on off. That must be brightness. So we'll look into this. I believe that's probably how you charge it there, USB. And here's a USB connector as well. So inside this vial, we open this up. Okay, yeah, these are the very, uh, the, the different endpoints. So one is a magnetic tip, one is a hook, and the other is a uh, reflective mirror. They provide you with a charging cable, which is a standard USB. And this is for the endoscope itself. So it's got the camera with the LED lights at that end. And let's go ahead and charge the unit and then we'll test it out. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead, I've got the uh, USB cable plugged in. There we go, I was curious about the light. There's an LED right there that lights up. The LED will go out when it is fully charged and the recharge rate with a two volt adapter they say is about three hours. All right, so now it's fully charged, the LED is out. Go ahead and remove the protective screen. We will turn this on. LED turns green. Connecting. Okay, there we go. So the LEDs, you can see. All right, it comes with a uh, cable that is 16.5 feet, and it is well secured in here. So you don't have to worry about any kind of um, distance that you want. So not only you can just view it in real time on the screen, and it's very clear, but you can also uh, record or take a picture. So if you're really trying to hunt something down, uh, it's gonna be quite easy to do that. And with this rubberized backing, if you're working in a shop environment, that's gonna be quite nice if it drops or slips out of your hand. Okay, so now let's go through the menu options. Um, we have a execute button, forward, backward, and return. So the first highlighted menu option is to take a picture. And the way you do that, just click the execution button. Here is the video button. Click to record. The next is for the review of the pictures that you've taken. Here's a video. Now let's go into the settings menu. Now here you can change the resolution, the LCD mode lets you adjust the brightness. USB mode, there you can um, connect up a USB device directly to your laptop, I believe, to transfer. Zoom mode, here you can actually force the camera to push in. Rotate, because again, it is a circular device, uh, so if you wanted to, you could change the positioning, as you can see here. It flips it around to different angles, different viewing angles. You can change the language here. Format. You can format the memory chip. SD memory tells you how much memory is uh, remaining of the 8 gig chip that this one came with. And the versioning of the software.
Oh yeah. There's definitely some debris. Look at that. Mm. Definitely. <laughs> God. Yeah, it's like a okay, I gotta fix nest. that. Wow, what is in there? So that's blowing in my face when you have the air on. Yeah, that is not good. Well, that's gonna be my little project right now. It looks like a bird's nest. So I gotta clean that all up. This is really helpful. There's sometimes some difficult places to see, and that also could be uh, useful. So for example, if you were trying to see if something detached Like there's a uh, hose. You could check that without too much trouble, right? You can look, see if something's leaking, or you could also look at your brake lines, look for any corrosion. Just to give you an idea, most of the time when you're working on this you won't have direct sunlight, but it is nice to know that you can still see without too much problem. And then if you're trying to look also underneath your engine, if you look at, for example, under a leak, you also could do that without too much trouble. It's actually really nice to be able to look around at your engine and you can, re you can record this as well fuel injectors so you're able to look all in the hard to reach areas if you normally don't have a lift for your car it's really uh, really nice to be able to dig around there you can even remove your uh, spark plugs and look down into the cylinder so overall, I'm very, um, very happy with um, the quality, but you can buy this on Amazon and um, that and the rubberized product works really well. Thank you.